Mikey's out. Yeah, Mikey's it. out. We love that guy. We're classy. <laughs> Uh, we don't have a what's really going on today, guys. Uh, mixing it up a little bit just to give something fresh and give a lowdown as to what we're doing here at the Mood and why we're doing it more so than anything. Uh, yep. Today, the, the subject is kava, 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 the tea that we serve here at the Mood. Scientifically known as Piper Methysticum, P I P E R Methysticum. Yep. <laughs> uh, that is a plant uh, that derives from uh, many Pacific Islands, South Pacific Islands, Pacific Islands, Vanuatu, Tonga. Um, Fiji, uh, other islands in that area of the world. Yeah. And that plant, the roots itself, are where we derive that uh, biomass to make the tea. Yeah, and when you're talking about biomass, you mean like the ground root that we end up using, like you said, to brew that tea. Um, what makes kava specifically enjoyable here in the United States and around the world as a whole is what's called kava lactones. So whereas a lot of our viewers are probably familiar with what's called cannabinoids, uh, kava has what's called kava lactones, and whereas cannabinoids are like fat solid, soluble molecules, pardon my stutter a little bit there, uh, kava lactones are similar to that, but they're technically considered esters, um, polyesters if we're going into that, but they provide a little bit of like a sedating effect, sometimes an improved focus, uh, really, really uh, relaxing and like a social lubricant as a whole, and we found it really useful um, just as an alternative to other intoxicating beverages if you're catching like my drift, so to speak. Uh, so that's really kind of why we wanted to bring it up here and uh, give a little bit of background as to what that is. Yeah, we are the first location in Indiana to yeah, we are. carry kava and our serve food. kava tea to our customers. We're proud of that fact. Oh, we love it. We absolutely love it. We serve um, the highest quality kava that we can get here in the States, and uh, those are generically referred to as a noble kava. Mm -hmm. The islands themselves will really only sell outside of their own uh, islands really, really good, high quality kava. So that's what we get here in the States. That's what we use. Uh, we use a medium ground kava here at the Mood. Yep. Uh, so that's uh, just a slight bit of processing uh, past just the full whole root itself. True. Um, real quick example of that would be something like these guys. We work with them. They are a lovely company. They're the actually only providers that we work with here over at the Mood. Just like you said, A, because of the Noble Kava, but B, they also do secondary and third-party lab testing uh, just to ensure quality and purity of the product as well as the cleanliness and integrity of the product that we're offering, like we said, here in the shop. Yeah, most often when you go to a Kava bar, and if you do, you're probably in Florida. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. so, have fun down there while you're there. What you're going to experience down there is going to be a kava that's served to you uh, primarily with a uh, maybe a fruit, a slice of fruit shooter. You're going to have to continually stir your beverage to prevent a lot of uh, sediment from collecting at the bottom. Here at the Mood, we <laughs> have developed a filtration system. I believe it's a quad filtration system. Yep, four stages. Call it four stages uh, to take a lot of that grit out of the beverages themselves. Yep. We also offer different fruit, fruit flavors. We also offer flavors that are akin to what you would put in coffee, vanilla, hazelnut, brown sugar, and cinnamon, uh, pumpkin spice when the season is right. Uh, these are all things that make us uh, different from yeah. what you would potentially find in a, a normal kava bar here in the States. Yeah, and we're really walking into uncharted territory <laughs> with that one as well. We are the first people in the U.S. to like do a pH neutralization step for the kava. It uh, takes the bitterness of the beverage uh, down a lot. And we, like you said, use different ingredients, different fruits, different concentrates, or what have you, just to make that a stable, very safe and enjoyable product, which, as he was referring to the grit earlier, um, my wife and I, when we were down in Florida, we tried them out, and we ended up seeing a few up in New York a few years back as well. But like you said, you got to stir them, and you get like sand in your teeth. And so if we're bringing kava as the first kava barcade, so to speak, here in Indiana as a whole, not just Fishers, uh, we really wanted to have something that was both palatable and the cleanest and safest product that we could offer to the Fishers area, especially since it's a completely new industry in Indiana. Uh, we really wanted to put our best foot forward. And we also, of course, require 21 up for entry into the shop. Uh, it's safe for all ages, and it's completely legal in all 50 states throughout the entire U.S. Uh, but it can provide a sedative property like we referred to previously. It's really enjoyable because of that, and it's not anything that would mess you up to the point of intoxication. Like, you can drive on it. Amazon even lets their employees consume it whilst being on the clock. I can vouch personally. Shout out to Amazon. I and too represent. Um, so, yeah, I, um, I really wanted to emphasize that uh, because we care, and every 
compound that's out there definitely has its pros and cons. We found this to be really useful both for people struggling potentially with cannabis usage disorder or dependency or alcohol usage and alcoholism. Uh, it's really just an enjoyable alternative that won't mess you up too much. You maintain your complete cognitive and motor functionality. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. We're just really proud of that fact and trying to make it pure so it doesn't destroy your liver. Because when it comes down to it, that is something uh, that we'll reference an article down below. The World Health Organization considers it completely safe, like we refer to. Uh, but it does still get enzymatically digested and converted through the liver just as any other compound would and it ultimately can deteriorate if it's consumed in too large of an extent. Uh, sorry to Very true. chime in everybody. Oh, uh, no, <laughs> not, a, not a worry. A couple things I'd like to add. Mm -hmm. One is many tend to experience, you know, in a cava bar down in Florida, it's almost encouraged to quickly get through your beverage. Sure. Which is fine. That's totally acceptable. However, the way that we per, per, uh, prepare the kava here for, for people to consume, you don't have to just quickly, you know, get through it and, and gag and <laughs> you don't have to do that. Ours tastes so much better. It's almost, some of these recipes that we use are actually just refreshing. Yeah. Um, downright refreshing. So you can take your time. You can have a long session with one drink. You can have a long session with multiple drinks. It's really up to you. Yeah. Um, what to expect though, when you drink kava? Ooh. What am I going to feel? What should I expect? Well, well Go for it. Bob. I'll start. The main thing, the first thing you're going to find is that you're going to get a tingling in your in your mouth and your tongue. Oh, yeah. Uh, and if it's a strong enough dose, you may even get a straight up numbing. Um, and that does work its way down the throat. Um, that's a really good indicator to the potency of the drink you're, you're consuming. Exactly. Uh, we always tell everybody, so first bula or kava is always on the house in the shop just to ensure that it does have some beneficial effect or, or desired effect, let's say, upon the consumer. Um, and for me personally, I, I get instant numbness through my entire throat. Uh, it is not an allergic reaction. We actually do not use any allergic. We are a hypoallergenic shop um, as a whole, just to kind of, once again, put our best foot forward and ensure the safety of our customers and just have consistency across the board. Uh, but as far as for me, we've found like a lot of variance in the different strains that we have. So we don't want to dive too much into explicit detail. You can look at our articles and our websites. We're going to shoot a link down to that below as well. Um, if you just want to look into which strains do what and further. Uh, but by and large, for me, I normally get, I don't know, like a really strong, like imagine a concentrated chamomile tea just without the sleepiness. So that's that, a, that's, that's a my good experience point. anyway. Yeah, and, uh, that's a good point. And of course, everybody's different, just like anything else um, yeah. that people do. You know, the same product could have different experiences. Uh, that's normal. Yeah. Uh, the onset for most people is 15 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. It can be longer, it can be shorter. Yeah. Uh, and again, for me personally, which I can speak for, uh, I really feel it in the uh, head, neck, shoulders. Yeah. That's the first place I really feel the effects of kava. It's just a, a calming effect. Um, I'm not too far gone in any way, shape, or form, sure. as he stated before, you're still able to ha have all your motor functions and uh, you don't have to worry about being intoxicated in, in any way with coffee. Yeah. It's very relaxing, very calming. The uh, effects last, again, are different for most people, about an hour to an hour and a half for me personally. Um, I think, you know, some people may get up to two hours, maybe more, some less, so sure. uh, that's that's how I feel when I uh, when I have fun with a Buddha. I also wanted to throw in, so duration of effects and the effects as a whole are also determined by how much room is in your stomach. If you have an empty stomach completely, it will likely get into your system quicker, hit a little bit harder, but also be out of your system a little bit quicker just because your body can't consume anything that goes into it that much quicker. Um, so from there, if you start exercising as well, like let's just say you have a quick kava and then want to go for a jog, uh, you would likely burn through the kava lactones within five to 10 minutes, just because they are slightly fat soluble. Uh, it's not a fat compound itself, but it just attaches the same way that a hemp oil or a cannabinoid would to your body's receptors as a whole. Um, so avoiding exercise if you're trying to get the most out of your product and having an empty stomach if you want to into your system quicker is our recommended way of consuming and really getting every bang for your buck as a whole. Which is um, exactly why we have a very nice, comfortable lounge for you to experience your job <laughs> in. We're not uh, we're not encouraging you to you know do laps around the shop or anything <laughs> like that. So go ahead and, and come in and, and really relax. Uh, that's and with good friends, good good time, good company. I wanted to say our insurance company would be really upset if we started prompting everybody to do rides and shit around here. Oh, it'd be bad news. Be bad. That'd yeah. be just terrible. It might be funny. I might put it on a movie. Um, but after that, it would just be terrible. 
I did want to dive in real quick before we say goodbye to everybody. We do sell kava that you can take home and prepare at your own place. Uh, it's a little bit more cost effective, but you're also not going to get the same wonderful, delicious effects that you would hear at the mood. We do got to plug ourselves, but we also let everybody figure out a way to make it themselves, we figure out what kind of taste and flavor profiles they're going after, strain specific information once again to get that more bodied experience or more of a heady experience and get the variations experiencing yourself. We have two cuts available at shop, medium ground and what's called micronized compared to like an instant coffee where you just throw it into some hot water, plug it and go. And as far as preparation goes, it's really simple. Uh, basically use either warm or cold water. It's not gonna ultimately affect it because what matters most is how much agitation or mechanical squishing blender can work a little immersion stirrer thing that they use for coffee foaming that would work just fine as well but it's that irritation and that agitation as we were talking about here a second ago that really pulls the most out of that copper root and gets you the most copper lactones in your ultimate product always recommended to do filtration and things of that nature just because like we said liver enzymes you got to protect them you're never getting any new one nope we're always happy to give tips and tricks if okay. somebody is, is curious on how to get the best um, the best end product at home. Very true. Again, it's not going to be as good as it is here. Mm -hmm. uh, it never will be. Apologize. We love you. Sorry, we're just, but we're, we're botanicals done better at the mood. Yeah, <laughs> but we're just happy to help you get there. So uh, really appreciate uh, you guys taking a look today at the video about oh, yeah. what is kava. Absolutely. Thanks, everybody. We love you. And uh, let me get a pinky up. Really. Uh, Achia. Achia. And Bula. And Bula and love to you guys. Have a good day.